Hello, it's August 13, uh, 2022, and I'm riding a Core 5, a Ride 1 Up Core 5 that I bought around March. I have over a thousand miles on it now. And this is just a cheapo camera. I do have a Strava running, so, but what I'm doing here is uh, I'm riding level four and five. I'm pushing it pretty hard. And I'm approaching Summerland, and I'm going to make a right turn up here and go up Greenwell. <clears throat> so I'm probably going around uh, 20 miles an hour or so uh, level. I am somewhere in here. I went from four to five, maybe after the turn, the left turn up ahead. And... Greenwell, gosh, I think I've ridden up and on a road bike in about eight or nine minutes, and I'm going to break that record pretty soundly here pretty soon. Now, I may pause. I'm not going to talk the whole time, but uh, pretty happy with the bike, although today the I was putting the battery or taking the battery out to put a, another one in, and this little clip, this little spring and clip fell out. So the, where the key, where the key goes in, anyway, it, that's just a minor problem that I got to solve. Now this is in here. I think there's some 10, 11, 12 percent right in through here. It gets pretty steep. And I'm probably downshifting from the top gear to number five, maybe six. I'm able to stay in a, in a very tall gear with uh, level five uh, on the battery. And this is, I'm using the, it's almost a 14 amp battery. It's the extra battery, costs 500 bucks. But I just swap it out when I'm done with the stock battery I just put in the big the bigger battery <clears throat> which gives me a little more range I would say I can get probably well I did get I think 45 miles and uh, out of it and I think I could do better you know if I it all just depends on how much of the work you do versus the battery if you run it at level two and three and uh, coast here and there and let the battery rest, you know, just go with your momentum. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm coming up to uh, the end of Greenwell, and this is going to be Ortega Ridge coming up, and I'll make a left turn and go down Ortega Ridge to uh, Sheffield, and uh, along North Jameson, I'm going to cut through uh, Montecito. And, well, you can see, you know, I mean, we're going to get the time that, you know, that it took from where I started this video uh, to get to, uh, oh, I didn't go all the way to State Street. I did turn it off somewhere uh, after... Uh, Montecito. Okay. Just motoring along. Uh, I'd say my heart rate, when I'm pushing it, it can be in the 150 range for a long time. I'm an old man. I'm 79 years old. And I, I, I get tired, you know, I don't have... <laughs> It's surprising how my energy has declined uh, as I've gotten older. I mean, I can do this bike ride, push hard, but I'm going to take a nap. You know, in fact, I have taken a nap. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the evening now on the 13th. But uh, I feel pretty good. And I'm rolling down here probably... 35 miles an hour. These big core fives, you know, they, they, you know, there's no point in pedaling 
because there's a limiter on it. And so I'm just arrow, I'm crouching down, get, getting as arrow as I can. And I'd say, I'm, I might be getting close to 40, but uh, I'll, I'll have it actually when I compare with my Strava that I have running. Okay, now uh, there's a stop sign here and they have to be careful, look to the left. Now these, today they're just where people getting in my way all the time. I mean, not a big deal, but just, you, ha you can't just plow through like there's no nothing going on. Now there's going to be another, this was a little tricky here because there was traffic. It's a T intersection. There's good visibility when you get down here at the stop sign. You can see both left and right, but I'm following cars and then they're going to be, you know, you'll see when I get there. I just remember it was a little tr tricky. See, I had a couple cars, a couple cars. I went around them and I had the bikes to watch out for. And then the traffic on the right. And I've got cars behind me. I didn't cut them off. I didn't endanger, I didn't inconvenience them or endanger myself. So there's another stop sign up here. But there's not it's pretty easy to run that one. You got visibility on the right. It's just a private driveway. So um, it's not usually a problem. Now along here, a road bike on the flat, I have been dropped by good a good road bike because they can go 30 miles an hour and I can't go that fast. But these guys are not going that fast. They could, I'm telling you, even though I can go 27 miles an hour on the level, on the flat, or going slightly downhill, I don't have a chance against a road bike ridden by a strong rider. <clears throat> but those guys were just casual. And I'm probably going 26 miles an hour or so along here. <clears throat> Maybe 28 or a little over level 5 on the downhill. But... Uh, Strava, you know, my GPS speed is not as fast. It's it's a mile, mile and a half slower. Uh, the, the core five speedometer might indicate 27, but I'm really going 25 and a half. This is a pretty good run through here. Um, there'll be a stop sign coming up here that is a T. You just have to make sure you look. You'll notice I, I'll drift over to the left, nobody behind me, drift over to the left so I can get a good look up that road, Hickson I think it is, nobody coming, sometimes a cop will be sitting there. So just taking the road, when you're going this fast it's not really smart to be, well here I'm on the right, it's okay, you know, but there's more trash and glass and and rocks and you know the debris trash lane another stop sign this is uh, San Isidro and you could make a right up here and go up to Pierre Lafon's no actually it's Olive Mill is it? Yeah, all in mill, I think. No, now I'm confused. Anyway, you could make a left turn and go to Channel Drive and around the Biltmore, around the ocean. That's a real nice drive. It's a, it's a little hillier, takes a little longer, and I don't care for it too much because there's just looky-loos and people wandering around over there, bicycles and pedestrians and and double-parked cars and trucks. Uh, it's okay. I it just you just <laughs> you name your poison because no matter which way you go, it's going to have its little special difficulties. 
Okay. No, I guess that was San Ysidro. Now, now I think I'm coming up to Olive Mill. Uh, yeah, that's how it is. Olive Mill and Coast Village Road. I'll go go through there, and you'll see. You know, again, I'm really pushing it. Level five, probably averaging 25 miles an hour. Uh, you got to watch this intersection. Uh, it's good left and right. This is there's cars coming every which way at that particular intersection. They're coming, getting on the freeway, getting off the freeway, making right turns, left turns, going straight. <clears throat> So I'm probably, maybe I'm here level four and just taking a little easier, you know, you've got a, I'm passing cars, but you've got traffic on the right, you got people pulling out in front of you. So you gotta be on your A game riding around cars. And you can see I'm not really in the bike lane. It's not to at these speeds you're just asking for it you know somebody's going to come out of a driveway or open a door and uh it's just better to be a little bit away from that yeah sometimes you got to stop sometimes you know grudgingly yield to the right of way Let them go by, let them go by. And pretty soon I'll be drifting over to the to the road and I'm keeping up with the traffic now, probably 25 miles an hour. It's just really a lot of fun, I gotta say. I mean, I ride a road bike twice a week, probably 70 miles, 60 or 70 miles a week on a road bike, just to keep it honest. And then I ride this, and the pattern is just once a week now on the weekend. has been kind of enjoyable. And then I have a uh, Electra. It's called an Electra bike. It's a girl's beach cruiser with 2.2-inch wide tires, 26-inch tires. And I bought it because I was having, I had a hip replacement recently, May 3rd. Okay, now this is really gnarly here. This is the new roundabout, which really has made it, you know, it's it's really made it a lot better than the five-way stop sign they had here. But you really have to pay attention, and it happens that um, that it was it went well today. I think I'm getting near the end here. Uh, I'll be going under the 101 freeway. And the light changed. Now you gotta see that car made a right turn. If you're, you have to be careful that somebody doesn't just, you know, they don't signal. They just make the right turn. So, and then here there's some yoke, some joker comes out directing traffic. Just somebody, just, who knows? What are they doing? You know, they just get in the way. Think they're the highway patrol or something. A nice day, sunny. Well, you see here, gotta watch it They're coming at you from every, every which way. Now, this they're just going easy again along this stretch. I have probably ridden at 30 miles an hour on a road bike, I could probably pass myself when I've been with a big group of riders and we got the wind and everything's going right. A road bike, never underestimate how fast they can go when ridden by a strong rider. So that's the bird refuge on the right. And there's a, a big estate there on my left. On the left, uh, I can't recall. Anyway, the lady owned it for years. It's kind of an East Coast look to it. And she lived to be well over 100 and then just left it somehow. I think there were heirs fighting over it, you know, the usual thing. And now a trust owns it or something. Another boondoggle 